How you doing? It's uh, Paul from AMPM Roofing. I'm up here on this uh, this flat roof here. Uh, we're in Quaker Hill. You see it's kind of like an ice skating rink up here. Um, this chimney, uh, this nice woman had uh, a lot of cracks. You can kind of see them through this uh, saran wrap here. I uh, see this. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that big crack right there. Okay. So, I mean, this chimney has to be rebuilt. Um, so in the meantime, I wrapped uh, this chimney with uh, it's a heavy-duty commercial grade saran wrap um, So this is gonna see what, what happens. We, we replaced the lead down here and that the lead or the copper flashing that she had before was just cracked and it was deteriorating and coming Coming away from the chimney there. So uh, we, we got everything 100% watertight on uh, the roof deck and then going up we've got two underneath this layer of cap sheet here we've got two rows of it's like a, a grace or a, a it's called a winter guard ht uh, we went on on the deck this is underneath here we went on the deck here and then underneath this flashing all the way up to um, the, the, the top of this mortar joint here that we ground out and there's actually two of those sheets going all the way around here and then we've got the cap sheet that comes up here as well and then we did all new uh, lead going around now a um, couple different benefits to doing this around it's December now it's, it's around Christmas time so uh, this is very Christmassy it could it could be considered a Christmas decoration uh, where it has that tint of green so Santa's really gonna want to come down this come down this chimney here and then another benefit to it is she can wait now she can wait till springtime to have a mason come by and just repoint or rebuild this chimney whatever it is that they uh, that they want to do there okay so again there's uh, two there's two uh, practical applications for this there's uh, one two um, well actually three so I'll tell you about uh, when somebody calls me and they have um, they have a problem with their chimney leaking and they just had let's say a brand new roof done um, and they're trying, you know, they're, they're saying that, oh, it's, we just had the roof done and the chimney's still leaking. And I said, well, okay, let's go take a look at your chimney. Um, and what I do is I wrap the chimney with a saran wrap here. And that eliminates any of the mortar joints. See, a lot of times when you have cracks or you have bad uh, mortar joints or older uh, or porous bricks, the water will actually absorb into the brick and into the mortar joints and then just come down behind all of this flashing and then come into the house. So by wrapping this and you're, you're completely sealing all of the chimney and, and bricks and all of the mortar joints except for what's up top here. So if this was cracked as well, we would try to wrap something or, or place something up top here. But it's definitely a possibility too that water, I've seen water come down these flues here and between the cracks enter that way as, as well so um, usually what I'll do is I'll wrap the chimney like this and then I'll do a water test um, or I'll just wait for a heavy rain and then if she says hey you know it's not leaking anymore it, it was the chimney and I say well great um, you know just get a get a mason to get a mason to come look at it and uh, whoever installed your roof is is in the clear now because this proves with 100% certainty that there is not uh, going to be water entering uh, the chimney. Now, uh, if we did a water test, or when we did the water test, or would do a water test, we would actually start from uh, the bottom here, just spray, spray, spray the crap out of it with a, you know, the high pressure hose or a pressure washer. And uh, if, if there was water coming in here, then yeah, it's definitely roof related, and you gotta say, hey, get your roofer back here. Um, he needs to, he needs to reflash this and. Usually when that happens, they don't do the ice and water shield on the deck and then up the chimney first. They usually just do on the base and they go around there. Uh, so that's no good. You have to go on the deck and then up the chimney. Um, and then, you know, uh, step flashing and then your counter flashing uh, is ground into those mortar joints and then comes out and then goes down and covers everything. And then that's all sealed <clears throat> with this nice uh, mortar, GSL mortar sealer. So we'll, um, we'll take a look at the back of the chimney here. Without falling, uh, you can see that this just goes all the way, all the way up to there. So, um, our main concern is to just isolate this area. We're not worried about the back licking, but in order to get this wrap 
around the chimney here. Uh, we had to, uh, we got to go all the way around the, the whole thing there. Um, so again, three practical applications to this. Number one, when it's around Christmas time, this is considered a, a really unique uh, Christmas, we'll call it a Christmas present because it's just a chimney that's wrapped in. It's also allowing the customer some time to find a mason to come back in the spring because it's just too cold right now to, um, you know, to redo the mortar joints or to work with any kind of uh, cement there. So this will buy uh, her some time. So you've got the number one would be, you know, Christmas decoration ornament. You could even put some Christmas lights around here if you like. I would start from the base, maybe go with a, a, a white you know, Christmas lights going all the way up there. Um, that that would be something amazing. And then uh, number two, it's it's to establish exactly where the leak is is coming in. So it's if it's not coming from down here, you're spraying it up here. It's not coming in there. You got to spray for you know 15 minutes. Have somebody on the inside. And then if it's still not leaking, then hey, spray uh, spray on the on the top here. And then if you see water coming in, it could be coming in from your mortar crown or it could be coming in from uh, the flues there. Uh, so, and um, uh, yeah, in this instance, this is all that, uh, all that you can do if you wanna you know, guarantee that this chimney's not going to leak. Um, so come springtime, what they'll do is they'll, uh, they'll cut this out and then go to work and that'll come right off, no problems. And uh, this is Paul from AMP Roofing and um, you know, during the winter time, we'll also uh, cut some cut some trees, and you'll see that in my uh, my, my tree pages as well. Um, and uh, yeah, and that's it. That's it, folks. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a merry Christmas and a happy New Year. And um, we'll see you in the spring for roofs. But if you want to call me for uh, some tree removal or, or some tree trimming, uh, we could take down trees like this. We can take down trees like this. We can trim trees like that. Uh, whatever, whatever you like, we can uh, we can make that happen. All right, signing off. Over and out.